Okay, so we've been talking about how to make our chords sound better. And um, I will put a link. This is part of a series. And um, if this is the first let the first video of mine that you're watching, you might want to look in the description for the link to the playlist so you can start at the beginning. But we've been talking about how um, how to make our chords sound better. And one way is to just take a vacation from chords actually, or at least spend some time focusing on these other things. Chords are not necessarily the first thing and you don't have to master chords before becoming a lead player. You can become a lead player and never play. When I remember when I say chords, I'm talking about the typical first chords that they show you. Um, Lead players definitely know their chord shapes and use their chord shapes, but they're usually playing part of a chord, not the whole chord, uh, which is cool and fun. Um, let's see. So one of the best things we can do for our musicianship, uh, it will help us in many ways, but will definitely help get us where our fingers are more willing to make chords sound good is playing one note at a time. Instead of trying to get three or four or six, six whole strings with fingers on frets and plucking the right strings, you know, try to get all that working great right away. Um, sometimes it's better to spend some time just playing uh, one note at a time with some simple exercises or melodies. Let's look at, um, now this also ties in with learning the notes on the guitar, which when I'm teaching note names, I like to start on the fifth string. The name of the fifth string is A. And if you play the fifth string open, and then you play the second fret, that's a B. And then the very next fret is a C. A, B, C. You can take just those three notes. As a matter of fact, you could just take one note. You could play um, the notes I just showed you. Uh, actually, let's just stick with one. Let's just stick with the key of A minor for now. Um, you could search on YouTube, A minor backing track. And actually, I'm trying to, uh, I have um, a couple other lessons I'm gonna put in the, in the links in the description. Um, I have at least one lesson on the A minor pentatonic scale, I think, which is like one note at a time. Um, I think I have one that shows Hamp playing the same five notes I show you and he just really rocks it out. It's really fun. Uh, so I'm gonna put links to that so you can see how much music you can make with just five notes. Um, I'm going to try to stick in the key of A minor. So what I'm saying is you could search, uh, you could use my backing track that I made in A minor, or you could um, search in YouTube A minor backing track. And you can also put in a style. A minor backing track, funk. A minor backing track, folk. A minor backing track, country a minor backing track rock and roll <laughs> and so you can use um the a minor pentatonic scale or these three notes that i just showed you um and play along with that backing track and if you're totally new at this you can even just play a just play one note um there are other notes you could just focus on one note for a while and just work on your groove and your rhythm and listen to the backing track so the main idea is we're just, we're focusing on one note at a time. Um, but uh, if you'd like to play these notes with the backing track, you can play A, B, C on the fifth string. I like that because it's like the alphabet. It's easy to remember, A, B, C. If you're totally new at playing guitar, that might be a good place to stop. Just learn those three and play around with those three. You could have a friend play A minor chord. Um, you can also, the same shape I just showed you, fifth string open, second fret, third fret. You can play that on the fourth string, same shape. Then you've got six notes. You can play them in any order and they sound really nice. Put 
little, literally play around with them. Einstein said that the best form of research is play. Um, let's see. The trick with improvising, if you're going to move in that direction, um, big trick. <laughs> it's so magic. People used to um, explain to me, improv was is my area of weakness, and that's why I'm so passionate about it, because um, it really didn't have to take that long for me to break the improv barrier, but it took, um, seemed like forever. Um, <laughs> and the key to breaking through, well, let me tell you what people used to tell me, and they might tell you this too, okay, if you're in the key of G, that means you can play any of the notes in the G scale. And they tell you to think about what chord we're on. When we're on the C chord, these notes are better. When we're on the D chord, these notes are better. And it's just like way too much when you're new at it. If you just focus on three notes <laughs> at first, or even just one note at first, you can kind of get the feel of improvising kind of like take the pressure off. There's not so many decisions and you get the hang of it with those few notes. And actually, you know, there really are seven notes in the scale. And if you stick, you know, not all the octaves, but just um, if you've learned three notes and how to play with three notes, you've got three sevenths. That's almost half of all the notes. And um, you just stick with, you know, not that, not those scales all over the place, just literally three notes. <laughs> well, like we just did, three notes. Um, when it comes to learning melodies, um, I wish that I had, you know, already the course on playing melodies. I, I just have to start somewhere. Haven't made that yet. Um, be careful about learning to read music. Uh, if you already know how to read music, then I think it would work and you're a beginner at guitar and you already know how to read music, I think you could use note reading to help you learn melodies. And uh, all of you could learn to read music and use that to help you, but learning to read music is very slow and you can learn to play melodies a lot faster than you can learn to read music. Um, and then when you do learn to read music, you'll be reading a language that you already know how to speak and it, it'll go a lot more smoothly. Um, I just wanna talk about this book a little bit. The cool thing about this book is it will give you, there's a section that's called Improvise for Real. I can't actually recommend the whole book yet. Um, I think it's pretty great. It's new to me. I haven't worked with it a lot. I have read, you can actually, if you go to Amazon, you can read the first few pages on Amazon. And I just love the whole philosophy. They have a lot to say about how music education has basically gone awry and, and not it served some musicians really well, but other musicians not so well. Um, and well, let me show you the reason I'm showing you this. Um, is because it'll give you melodies. Let's get one I'm familiar with. Um, oh yeah, here's one. Lean on me. Um, it'll give you, I'm not sure if it's focused, but you have the words to the song. And so the assumption is this is a song you're familiar with, okay? If I picked one you're not familiar with, you have to be familiar with the song. This is a big hit, Lean on me. And it goes three, two, one. I can barely see it, but hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Three, three, two, one. Let me uh, just play it for you, make sure I'm doing it correctly. So, three, two, one. Oh, let me point out, this is a C note in the key of C. The, the scale sounds like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just playing one, two, three. Three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. And then it goes on, but my point is, um, if you can get, oh, and you can get a helper. Pick out a melody, ah, good idea. 
pick out a melody that you're familiar with, a melody you love, and then get a helper who understands the, the scale and the number names of the notes, write out the words just like he did, and then get your helper to write the note. Oh, and you have to know the scale and where it is on your guitar. And um, that is a much faster way of learning melodies than trying to learn how to read notes right away. Um, talk more about note reading another time. So the main idea of this lesson is let's find things to do where we're just playing one note at a time and we will progress faster than if we try to do six or seven or eight notes at a time. Um, I wanted to show you again, I've shown you this before, but this is the A part of the A minor pentatonic scale. This note right here is an A. It's, um, I'll put a link to this. There's another lesson about this scale, okay? So I'm gonna go over it pretty fast here. But you can use that link to find how to play the A minor pentatonic scale. I'm just talking five notes. Some people will say this is the pentatonic scale, and it is. But that is a lot of notes. It's, it's too much when you're new at this. And it's really important to know that this note right here is an A. Okay, it's the fourth string seventh fret and if you want to improvise with these notes it's good to know not just a series of notes that don't make any sense it's good to learn like this note has an identity it's like home so if your song is that note is a good note to start with and come back to So here's two notes on the fourth string. And then if you go to the same spot on the third string, actually, you can just play with those, those four. And you can go up to this one. There's another lesson on that. I'll put the link in the description. You can learn those five notes and have a lot of fun just playing those. It's really good for your fingers. You get some exercise and coordination and it develops you musically. And um, let's see, so do we cover it all? Single notes first, play melodies, improvise, even if you're only improvising on one or two notes. And that's one thing you can do to progress musically and get better at chords. And you can even take a break from your um, chords for a while. And so uh, come back. We have more things to talk about. Let's see. Um, yeah, other things we can work on while we wait for chords to get better. Talk to you later. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Bye-bye.